Hello everyone, I hope you are good and doing well. This is Rohit and today I am going to show you Winter 24 new feature for the flows that is reactive text and reactive screen. So if you are new in this channel, so please subscribe the channel and turn on the bell icon for more updates and also watch this video until end if you want to learn something new. So let's get it started without any further delay. So first of all, you have to log in into new org, pre-release org, winter 24 or if you have like summer 23 pre-release org, so it's the automatic comes these features, okay. So don't worry about it. So I will post the winter 24 pre-release org link in the comment box. So you can check out that link and you can create your org. So I just logged in into my org. So first of all, if you are working in the new org, just you have to do one thing, enable some settings regarding this, you know, reactive screen and reactive, you know, text. So first of all, you have to do one thing, just click on this gear icon, click on the setup. And once you clicked on this setup button, just you have to search process automation setting under the quick file. So let me search this setting here, that is process automation setting, this one. So you have to let me highlight it. So this is the setting, you have to click on this setting and enable some feature. So just click on this setting here. And uh, once you click on this setting, process automation setting, just scroll down and you will be see this, you know, setting. So this is the first one. It's generally available. You can see this one, this setting. Uh, enable reactive component for a specific flow version. This is the generally available, but uh, second feature is still in beta, but you can use it like opt into reactive display text beta. So you have to enable this setting first and you can create your flow and you can take this benefit in your, you know, org. So let me open the flow or let me create new flow. So under the quick file, you have to search like flows, click on these flows. And once you click on this flow, just you have to click on this new flow button and let me create new flow. First of all, the reactive screen and then later on we will see the reactive text. Okay, so this is the screen flow. Just let me select this template, click on this create. And here, just you have to create, you know, date. So let me create this screen first. Let's say reactive screen, right? Under here, you have to create date type of field. So let me select the date here. So this is the star date, like star date. Okay. And another one also like end date, like end date. Okay. And let me add the display text to check, you know, also you can add the text box. So to check this value. So let me add the text here. So let's say text. So let's say number of days, number of days, right? Click on this done. Once you've done it, now you have to do one thing. Just here in this screen, you have to calculate the date difference. So how to calculate the date difference? You have to create one formula field. So under this section, this hide and so toggle tall box. So just click on this new resource under here variable or just select the formula. So it's like number of days, right? Under here, it's say like a number of days type is written, you know, like number. So you have to select the number. Let me make it as decimal place is zero. Under here, I have like a start date and I want to use like my operator minus start date or end date. So you can select like end date first because and it's always greater than that's why so let me select the end date here minus start date so under here is a start date let me check this syntax here and here you can see that this is a valid syntax just click on this done under this screen under this number of days i want to set the default value so default value you can select based on this you know like a start date or end date, but for now I'm not setting any default value right now. So if you have like, let's say I want to select some default value, let's say you can create any default value. Okay. So under this number of days, let me select this number of days here, click on this done 
and let me save this flow. Let's say reactive screen flow and save this flow here. So it's asking like uh, it's already there this name. Let me change another name. Let's say reactive screen one. Okay, click on the save. And now once you save this flow, just click on this debug. And this is the best practice. Always check your flow before you know activate your, your flow. So always debug this flow first. Okay, it can be anything. Uh, in my case, I'm using this reactive flow. That's why. Okay, click on this run. Under here, I want to select. So you have to create uh, one number field because it's always written the number. So just you have to check the number here. Let's say number of days here right and at this default one i want to use number of days click on done and save this flow and debug this flow and once you debug it just click on this run and immediately you can see the by default value i already set up some value and you can see the number of days six right so let me change this one uh, let's say 31 or you know like or let's say i want to select like 17 and uh, 31 immediately you can see each and every you know like uh, data is uh, to totally depends on you know like dynamic values so let me remove some default value here so let's say this one i want to remove some default value in the both you know uh, data type and both input type box so just save it and debug it and let's see so once you debug it now you have to enter the you know, start date. So I started today. I'm going. Uh, I'm entering this 24 and end date 30. So immediately you can see the number of days six. So that is reactive screen. So you can calculate any kind of things. Let's say this is the date difference. You can use any kind of formula like uh, uh, any you know uh, password character length. So let's say two five five. So I can enter only 255 character. So if you enter something, so it's automatic decrease the value. So it, so uh, like uh, 10 characters left, 20 characters left, something like that. Okay. So just here you can see this first example regarding this reactive screen. Right. So let me create another flow about this reactive text. So let me click on this new flow. And here, so click on this uh, screen flow, create new. And under here, I want to add the screen. So let's say reactive text screen. Under here, I want to add, let's say slider. So under here, you can see the slider and like my slider. Under here, maximum value 100. You can change it based on your requirement. Let's say 10. I want to make it 10 here and click on this done okay like this under this screen i want to add the output in display text so you can add let's say section under this section i want to add my display text something like that okay so under here let's say result so under uh, result you can enter like my slide and value click on this done save this flow and this is a reactive text flow so just save this flow once you save this flow just debug this flow because always this is the best practice to debug your flow before activation click on this run and here you can see our slider minimum value 0 and max value is 10 once you slide this somewhere let's say here you can see the value 1 this value 0 to 10 you can see here this value in the bottom because this is the output screen once you make it like change it's automatic changes here please focus this output here right like this okay like this you can change this is this is for reactive text so here you can capture the dynamic value from this slider as well here right so let me made some modification under here and make it let's say result result some text right bold it click on this done save this and debug this flow here and once you debug it again you have to run this flow and right now we have zero result uh, empty result here once you slide up like this 
increase this slide value immediately you can see the result like six something like that right let's say this is a max and you can decrease like this here right so this is how to make it your screen or text dynamically as a reactive like uh, if you change something in another component it's automatic reflect to the to the another component that is reactive like a two-way communication right so this is how you can work in this reactive screen or text in this winter 24 release or the flow so guys i hope you learned something new in this video if you feel like this is a very more informative or like this is a very useful for us so please make sure please subscribe the channel and please turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side and please stay tuned i will uh, post lots of video in coming days about this new releases uh, so please stay tuned and turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any mistake or you never will miss any notification from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys